everybody, I'm Dick Norris, and I'm going to show you how to measure the uh, trend and plunge of lineations in a surface. Um, and then later on, we're going to use those data to define the true strike and dip of a dipping surface that has uh, linear features in it. And we'll use a standard Brunton compass. In this case, this is one where the white end of the needle is north, uh, and, and that's defined by the, um, uh, by the uh, sighting arm here. So we'll measure, for example, if these are a series of different lineations, they have a trend, which is an azimuth direction, and they have a plunge, which is the angle from horizontal to that surface. Um, and we measure the trend by holding the compass parallel to the lineation with the sighting arm here directed down a plunge or down dip. Um, and that's important because you have to measure, in this case, the uh, number that's at the white end of the needle. And so we orient the compass, uh, the edge of the compass, parallel to the trend line or to the lineation, and then get the uh, bubble in the center bubble level here aligned with that, um, and get it in the middle, uh, and then hit the damper, uh, and in this case, I'm getting an angle uh, measured on the inside scale here with the white end of the needle, uh, and it's just about 53 uh, degrees. So that's a 53 degree azimuth direction of the so-called trend. The plunge is measured using the inclinometer on the compass, which controls that bubble level there. Uh, and um, we just hold the compass up again so that it's parallel to the lineation. Uh, and then look at the bubble level in the middle there, uh, and it looks like it's just about 30 degrees, and that's measured off of the inside scale um, on the uh, inclinometer uh, arm down there. So we have a plunge of 30 degrees, a trend of about 53 degrees uh, as an azimuth. Now we can do that for the other ones as well. So for example, we can measure the um, the plunge of this particular lineation, again holding the compass parallel to the lineation, uh, and then moving the inclinometer until the um, bubble crosses the middle of that bubble level. And I get a measurement of just about uh, maybe 39 or 40 degrees uh, for that plunge. Uh, and then once again, the trend line, again with the sighting arm down, uh, down dip, or down plunge, and we just orient the compass, uh, get the bubble level centered, and make sure that it really is still aligned with that lineation, and then hit the, the damper and uh, get just about 30, maybe 33 or 34 degrees, uh, again, measured from the white end of the needle. Now we can do that for all of the lineations in this surface. They're effectively apparent dips uh, in that particular surface, and, uh, but they, since they lie in that surface, they help to define what the true strike and dip is of this dipping plane. Uh, and we can figure out what that true strike and dip is from these uh, trend lines uh, using a stereo net, which I'll show you next.